She blends current events and pop culture and her biting comedy has earned her millions of Instagram followers. Joining us now ahead of her stand up at Casey Improv is Jess Hilarious. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. So what point of your stand up comedy career do you decide to drop your last name and just go with Hilarious? Um, it actually just came by, you know, like my friends and by way of my family. That's all, that's the, the one main word I've been hearing since I was younger. Oh, you are hilarious, you're hilarious. And my name is Jessica and my nickname uh, had became Jess, so just Jess Hilarious, and I just, it's just perfect. it's stuck, and it, it's very unique, so I just kept it. How did know. you decide you wanted to be a comedian? <clears throat> I honestly really didn't decide that, honestly, really. My followers decided that for me uh -huh. on Instagram, because I had, I, I was going to school for mortuary science, actually. Mortuary it, science? Yes, yes. So you are going to be a mortician? I was going to be a mortician. I just had this logic, you know, like, every job I had, people would always get me fired. And it's just like, dead people can't talk, so they can't get you fired, you know what I mean? So that's that's the way I had. I was like, okay, I can work with dead people. They well, there's talk. always a market. Yeah. Everybody dies. Yeah, exactly. So. And I'll be rich forever. People die every day, you know? That's what I was thinking. And then I did my clinicals, and the embalming process was something wow. crazy, because no one told me if you put too much embalming fluid in the body, some of the limbs would move. So that was my last day doing Are you kidding? that. Kidding? Wait, was, so yeah. did you get fired or did I fired myself? I was like, I'm not coming back. I'm not even gonna show up in class tomorrow. I don't think I wanna do this. I think I wanna do comedy. Right. And, and that's what went from mortuary science to making people laugh. It I was seems like, I gotta do it. Perfectly reasonable. Yep. You have these bits where you do current events on Instagram and that's they're right. edited brilliantly. Thank you. You recently got into an online fight though yeah. with Azalea Banks. Yeah, yeah. Always that was ugly. Into online fights. Yeah, it was. Have yeah. you guys met in person <clears throat> since then to hash it out? or does it just go away? How does that work in celebrity I have, world? I've never, I've never met her. Um, sometimes if you just leave something alone, it'll lie dormant, then when something else comes up, it'll come back out. But um, I, I don't just keep picking, so it just goes away. Honestly, I would, I would like to meet her. She's, she's actually talented, honestly. She just, she's very opinionated and very blunt with what she says, and so am I, so I really feel like we're more alike than anything. But um, it just, we just clashed, that was all. That was just the moment we clashed, and um, if I see her, it'll be, hey, what's up? You was that girl that was running your mouth, but whatever, it's cool. <laughs> Do you ever run into the people that you have filleted in comedy or crack jokes about, and what does it feel like? Are you like, eh, just The that only was my person job? that I ran into that I actually had uh, talked about, had roasted or whatever, um, would be Wendy Williams. She came. You did, I ran you into roasted her, yeah. her. And yeah, I did. I did, Over what? Because as, as a child, you know, she had posted this picture where she was a kid and um, it wasn't really that cute. And it was just like she was, just, you know, built like a football player. And I just, I don't want to relive it, but it was funny. It was very funny because um, she looked, she was really, you know, masculine as a kid. And she knew that. And when she posted it, I kind of like went in on it. And then when I met her, it was like, hey, what's up? You're that funny girl. And I was like, oh, thank you. So she hey. handled it really well. Re very well. Because, I mean. She has to, because look what she does yeah. every day. She does the same thing that I do, you know. She's yeah. just in form of a talk show, you know. Puts and herself out there. Yeah, you know, and she invites these people on her show and just to embarrass them. And mm -hmm. it's like, shoot, let me do the same thing to you, you know, so. Your little boy is featured in your Instagram thank videos. He you. is so cute. What yeah, does he thanks. think of your comedy? Does he get what you do? Because he's oh, only man. five. Yes, he, he gets it so much that he wants to do it. He tells oh, me, really? he's like, other than being a rapper, he says that he would like to be a TV star, yeah. And he's actually gonna be um, on, he's gonna be the first kid to um, be on Wild and Out. He's actually really? on season 10, yeah. That's yep. so cool. Yep, I just did season 10. Um, they called me back for it, and I went and I did it, and Ashton is going to be on one of the episodes. I don't know which one yet, but he's going to be there. So I bought him up, and we shot the show. Nick loved him, fell in love with his personality. Yeah. He went to the Halo Awards, and he he's just adorable. loves it. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Jess, thank you for being here. Thank you for having Your me. Your comedy is that. fantastic. Thank Jess you. Hilarious <clears throat> is on stage tonight and yeah. tomorrow at the Improv. Yes.